when them old people say be careful what you wish for, they ain't bullshit. Because I have got one hell of a story to tell now. Hey there, GI Nation. I'm your host, Crystal Levin, and you're watching GI Weekly, your number one source for everything bodybuilding. Today, we're counting down the top five mistakes that destroy your gains. So let's break it down and get you on the path to maximizing your muscle. Mistake number five. Sticking with the same rep range and exercises. Doing the same exact thing day in and day out is going to put you headfirst into a plateau. There's no way around it. First, let's talk reps. Sure, the six to 12 range is best for hypertrophy, but you'll wanna mix it up to get the most out of your gains. A lower rep range will let you build strength, helping you use heavier weights down the road. A higher rep range will help increase your lactate threshold, helping you push off fatigue when you're pushing yourself to the extreme. And as for your exercises, mix them up so your muscles don't get accustomed to the same movements. This makes them more resistant to damage and eventual growth. So be sure to add variations on your usual move set and really push your muscles to the limit. Mistake number four, avoiding specialized techniques. Don't get us wrong, straight sets are the foundation of any bodybuilding routine, but if you wanna break through plateaus, you'll need to add some advanced moves. Supersets, drop sets, and heavy negatives are three variations on bodybuilding routines that will induce greater metabolic stress and take your muscle growth to new heights. But don't forget, adding these techniques into your move set increases the recovery time you'll need. So adjust accordingly. Mistake number three, focusing too much on protein and not enough on calories. Every bodybuilder knows that protein is the number one word when it comes to nutrition, but it's not the end all be all in your diet. If you shoot your protein through the roof, but don't add on extra carbs and certain fats, you won't have the calorie support to help build up muscle. The desire to stay lean is strong, but don't fall victim to cutting too many carbs in an attempt to keep your abs showing. So, if you're upping protein, eat more of everything. Mistake number two, pushing too much cardio. Everyone wants the magic formula to add muscle and cut fat at the same damn time. But adding on an overload of cardio while you pump up resistance training will not get you massive and lean. Actually, you'll find it does the opposite. This could actually bring your muscle growth to a grinding halt. Don't get us wrong, adding some aerobic training to your regimen isn't a bad thing, but when you overdo it trying to get lean while still packing on gains, you'll find yourself weak and not improving. Think short, high intensity moves instead of overloading with a ton of cardio. And the number one bodybuilding mistake is isolating your muscles too much or too little. There are two types of people. Those who rely on big lifts like squats and deadlifts to gain massive muscle. And those who use isolating movements to target each muscle directly for max gains. The reality is you need to do both of these approaches to truly pack on the most gains. Isolating exercises complement big lifts to create the perfect hole. Big lifts are necessary for packing on tons of mass, while isolation exercises target individual muscles to help enhance growth and symmetry. Here's a simple rule to help keep you in check. Every workout should have at least one or two big lifts complemented by a single joint move. And that tops us off for today's episode. Looking for more workout tips to get you massive? Hit us up in the comments below or by visiting our Facebook and Twitter pages. And don't forget to use the hashtag GI Weekly. You can also subscribe to our official YouTube channel for updates on our daily videos. And now it's time for me to peace out. Stay pumped.